Yeah, and then it just goes down there, like that. That's it. Yeah, so that's it. So if you pull the cables, it doesn't pull them on the circuit board. Yeah. So that seems good. good. Right, okay. Put the top back on. Or the bottom back on, okay. Ooh, this can be interesting. Got two different size of feet for this one. Assuming these nicer looking ones go out the front. One more screw in And that uh, little screw here that went on the power cord for some reason. Oh, and uh, there's little numbers saying 45 and 33. Okay. So I think you can just stick a screwdriver in and adjust them from the bottom. Yes, you can, the potentiometers, yeah. Which is cool. And, and yeah, that's dirty, that could use a bit of a, a clean. This cable's a bit squashed there, so I'm just going to remake the cable off. Yeah. I think that would be best. Okay, so it's the it's the brown one that goes to that, right? The fuse, yep. Yeah. Okay, the plug's back on now, or our new plug is being fitted. And I'm just going to clean up some of this dust first before we reassemble it and try it for the first time. This is unusual, normally always function test things first to see if it's worth doing this. But we wanted to find out about this anyway, didn't we? So Yeah, I was kind of interested in what we did. Yeah, even if it's even if it's no good. It's been no, it might work. I'm sure we haven't put any contamination into it. <clears throat> okay, what I'm going to do is reassemble that with the drive belt. Let's so see how to get this on. I'm going to give the drive belt a quick wipe action. Just in case it's got years of grime on it. Do that without stretching it. Okay, so that's on there. I'm going to put it back in and then we're going to grab the belt. How are you going to get there? How are you going to get it? Not easily. Well, you don't say. No. I need something that's not sharp. Oh, my fingers in there. Yeah, this isn't sharp. Yeah, I've got some. There you go. I've got my hey. fingers. There we go. Nice. So that is on there. Oh, I see. As that goes around, we said about this one, whether it wasn't, it needs to be up or down. Look, it's going over that sensor, over that oh. switch there. There we go. Okay, all right. Should we give that a wipe off as well first? Yeah, definitely. Right, it's all cleaned up now. It's much better than it was. Let's put this final part on. We've got one broken clip, haven't we? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll persevere for the moment because we haven't even tested this yet. So let's do our first function test. Okay, let's turn it on and see if it does anything. So, should we put a record on? Yep. Yeah. We've got, um, some, <coughs> we've got what we've got here. Sound of music. Oh God. Yeah, exactly. Oh gosh. Some old record we don't mind destroying. Okay. Well, let's plug it in and see what happens. Do, 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 do. Okay, it's doing something. Oh, let's turn that off. Okay. Okay, will it motor mode? Is that on 33? Three, right, press um, start. start. See what it does. Okay, I'm just letting it all settle first. 
still going through some. Oh, look at that. Did you put it on? I did put it on. That was fast. Okay, that's just taking it off. What's it doing? The needle doesn't look in line at the moment. And let it run through its sequence. So you expect that head to be lower down. It's not in the groove. Let's raise the head up. Does it raise? So you press stop, it goes back okay. It should lower the arm down and then shut down. There you go. Nice. So that, but the arm's not down all the way. Okay, so it's changing speed, 33 to 45, okay. The arm lift though, that's in the down position. That should take it up. So there's something not right. Okay, so if you move the arm over, it starts it up as it should do. And, and then we get to the end. Go back and switch off. The problem appears to be this arm isn't all the way down. It's still off. And when you press the button, it does the auto sequence to get it into the right position. But this is not moving. The needle's not properly in the groove <coughs> because this is too high. And you can prove that it's in the down position at the moment. If you go up, it doesn't actually move. So we've got an issue here with the raise and the lower on the arm. So that's where we'll focus our attention. The rest of it seems to be okay. Oh, strange. I've just made an adjustment here and as soon as I'd moved that a little bit the arm then dropped into its proper position. Um, so I don't know if there's, there's something caught up in there but let's give it a let's give it another go. Give it a while. And see if any of this will work. Okay, it's raising up good height. Coming across now, will it drop down all the way? Eee. Raise up. No, it's still not. It isn't raising it up, but at least it's playing. No? There should be going up and down. So it's not doing that. So there's, no. there's an issue with this. So it raises up well, and that piece in there comes up. And then it doesn't go down, but if you give it a little nudge, it goes down. So there's something to do with this area here that's causing a problem. So we need to take this bit apart again, have a look. Okay, I'm going to look under this cover here first to see if we can get any access to anything. Right, let's just connect to the drive belt. Take this out again. Open this. Okay, so that cover comes off. So let's turn that around. This is a whole mechanism that does the raise and the lower. Mm. <clears throat> okay, so that screw that we were adjusting is part of that mechanism there. I see, and then that's the adjustment. Oh, it was very mucky that screw under there. Mm. 
it's like it's not threaded right. So doing that lifts it. Doing that lowers it. There you go, look. Yeah. You see it now. So you're saying it just needs cleaning, that's what you're saying. So it's not dropping down here. Yeah. Properly. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm thinking it's, it's a lubrication in, problem. It's covered in muck. Yeah. So push that down. So that's now okay. If that's pretty low there, so I go up. So it's just a mechanical. It goes up, okay. You see, it's stuck. It's moving very, very slowly down. Yeah, I would say that is just mucky. Okay, we can see an issue with this spring mechanism here this adjusts the mechanically adjusts the position of the arm so if we wind that down that sets the bottom position and then we wind it up comes up as that lever moves around and then we go back spring tension here should drop that arm but it doesn't it should do that so it's quite clogged and mucky here it's a little bit difficult to get to we're going to try and clean it in situ using a small brush it's your favorite spray it's your favorite actually no it's just the easiest one around here Everyone's favourite spray. Look at the muck coming off that already. Look. Oh god. And the spring could be weak as well, but it's uh I'd rather get all this grease and muck out of it first. Because that was just clogged completely. Oh, you're happy with that, are you? Look at that. Yeah, that was great. That does. And that isn't sarcasm either. No. Now all we have to do is just put that screw in the right position where it isn't putting too much weight on the thing. Yep. Yep, that's good. It looks good. It's better, isn't it? Okay, let's stick it back together again. Stick it back. And then we'll give it another test run. Yeah. Next phase. Phase two. We can do something with that. Okay, let's uh, put a record okay, on. Now, now it's stuck down. What happened there? That's fine. No, no it's stuck down. That's why you want it. Yeah, I know. How did that happen? Skill. We haven't set the up at the down yet, have we? No. Okay, let's press it and see if that happens. Okay. Turn it on and see what happens. Let's just see what happens first. <laughs> it just throws itself off. Yeah, needs to go, need to adjust this up. There we go. So we just give it some clearance enough so it doesn't touch the record. And then yeah. down. down. Oh, that's better. Look at that. B. Straight down. Straight up. There you go. There's loads of clearance there. And Okay, so okay there's, there's one. And that three. works in position. It so. works now. Now we just need to. Okay, so we just check the function right at the end with the record where it goes. Nudge it. Just put it down there. Put it down there. And it'll go in. It'll go in the middle. Hit the limit switch. Lift itself up and so up. throw itself back over that. the side. It's a masterpiece. You, you wouldn't see anything doing that these days. No, if kids got out of bed that quick, you'd be happy, wouldn't you? Right. <laughs> so we've now moved the turntable onto the other bench and connecting it to amplifier and a set of speakers. 
We've also added a little bit of lubrication to the mechanism that went up and down just to make sure because we degreased it but now we've added a bit of lubrication to make sure it doesn't bind up again. So do you want to give it a try? We just tried this on the bench a minute ago and it all sequences absolutely perfectly. It raises up and down really well. It runs to the end of the record and um, automatically goes back. So everything appears to function correctly. Works really well, really pleased with it. That just leaves us the casing. One of the hinges is broken. Um, we're going to have a look at that and fix that. But from an electrical point of view, operational point of view, it is now complete. <laughs>